I has only got three words for ya. Dacker, Dacker, Dacker. Oh, seriously? Hey, hey guys, it's time for some more clan culture news with me, Six Bus Stevo. So today is my clan, the best clan, the Bad Moons. So let's get straight into it. The Bad Moons clan culture is called Armed to the Teeth. Bad Moons are ostentatious show offs whose predilection for toting about the biggest, loudest, and shiniest shooters is facilitated by the fact their teeth grow with such remarkable speed. With all manner of targeting arrays, underslung bomb launchers, extra ammo feeds and bandoliers of additional munitions to call their own, Bad Moons can typically lay down a storm of dacker that eclipses the firepower of any other clan. Reroll hit rolls of one for attacks made by models with this culture in the shooting phase. So we are getting a Space Marine style reroll ones to hit in the shooting phase. and. Uh, as any Orc player will tell you, Orc Ballistic skill is nothing to write home about. We are the most least accurate faction in all of 40k, but uh, this goes some way to remedy in that, especially with the amount of DACA that we're seeing in this new codex and that some of our weapons can kick out. Rerolling ones is going to help us massively. Combine this with the DACA 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 special rule where we always hit on six regardless of modifiers and we get the exploding sixes resulting in extra shots combine that with this those extra sixes with those extra shots will also be re-rolling ones so uh, yeah this is going to be quite nice um, my only slight concern with this and all the other orc cultures is will they work on grots because um, that hasn't been specified yet. I know currently in sort of previous editions of Orc Codexes and in the Index, there's various sort of special rules and keywords and things that don't apply to grots. Um, so I'm hoping it does because um, in my faction, in my army, I am including quite a lot of uh, killer cans. Uh, met guns etc obviously all crewed by grots with a uh, their 4 plus ballistic skill um, so it's going to be really nice if they're also re-rolling ones I personally I think they will be able to because I think they will be included in the clan culture I don't think it's exclusive to the orcs themselves within the faction um, but just uh, yet to see a confirmation of that or anything sort of solid really um, and it doesn't make any mention of any of those type of units in this article in the Warhammer community site. Um, it, what it does make mention of though is the Stomper. And the Stomper is, um, has up to this point been vastly overpriced, it underperforms, it's not really currently um, very competitive at all. It's, uh, it's ridiculously priced and uh, not very effective at what it does. However, now they are addressing this in a big way. It's better in the assault, it's got more DACA, and it's more resilient. So, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> three for three. All we need now is for it to have a bit of a drop in points, and we have got the perfect stomper. But I think this is definitely going some way to making it worth the high point cost. But there is no mention of points, so we still don't know that yet. Um, I've got a feeling it is going to drop, though. But uh, yeah, so better in Assault, it starts with a weapon skill of 3+, plus and has 6 attacks base, um, and then that drops through the as it loses wounds from its 40 wounds. Um, this thing is going to be tough to kill. And yeah, it's uh, strength 20 with the Mega Chopper. Um, there's... Uh, there's basically nothing in the game. This is not wounding on a 2 plus. So, uh, yeah, no one's going to want to tangle with a stomper in close combat. But um, the Dacker has taken a huge buff as well. And the you'll, see, you'll be seeing the picture on screen right now. It very handily um, 
compares the stats from the index with the new codex and as you can see this is getting a buff all round to all of its weapons. The Super Gatler is going from a heavy 2d6 to heavy 3d6 so that's great that's potentially an extra six shots um, a maximum of 18 shots out of this thing. Uh, the Super Rocket goes from a heavy d3 to heavy d6 so that's doubled the shot potential from that and then you've got the Death Cannon which <laughs> this is absolutely beautiful it jumps from a heavy d6 strength 10 to a heavy 3d6 strength 10 wow uh, yeah a potential of 18 shots from this thing at strength 10 all doing d6 damage by the way so yeah i think maybe the stomper is worth the um 900 plus points that it's asking with this stacker, it's it's uh, that's terrifying, um, especially in a bad moon's army. Um, with re-rolling all the ones, that's going to make it very nasty indeed. And don't forget that that still takes advantage of the daka 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 rule. So sixes and stuff that you're getting from these rolls to hit, you're getting extra shots. Uh, oh, yeah, Stomper is looking good. It's also more resilient as well. Um, the Grot Riggers are back. Um, it has a special rule, Stomper Rigger Crew. This model's Grot Riggers can attempt repairs at the end of your movement phase. If they do so, if they do so roll a D6. On a 2+, this model regains D3 lost wounds. A model can only be repaired once each turn. So it's got basically um, a built-in big mech fixing it up, basically. It's each turn you're repairing D3 lost wounds um, without the need to have a big mech nearby. Um, so yeah, it's going to be hard chewing through all those wounds and putting a stomper down, that's for sure. So yeah, stompers are getting a lot of love in this new codex. The article then goes on to say that it's not just the stomper either, the Morkonaut is getting a buff. This, um, it's basically having its um, armament changed. It did have a custom mega cannon, which had uh, heavy D6 shots. Well, now they've changed it. They, it's a bit more of a, a customized custom mega cannon. It's now called the Custom Mega Zapper, and it has heavy three D3 shots. Um, so yeah, a potential of nine shots out of this thing. So yeah, again, everything's just getting so much more shots in this codex. We really are going to be laying out the DACA. Um the article then goes on to talk about the Shock Jump Dragster. So speaking of good, reliable DACA, this thing is devastating. Um, it comes armed with the custom shock rifle, which is range 24, salt 2, strength 8, AP minus 3, with a D6 damage. And uh, if you roll a 6 plus to wound, the target suffers a mortal wound in addition to any other damage. Um, it yeah, it's uh, yeah, really, really good. Um, but what makes this so good on this vehicle is that you have a Grot Gunner, which is plus one ballistic skill, and it's got a Squig Targeter, which is also a plus one ballistic skill. So on an Orc vehicle, you're getting three plus to hit. And as the article says, in a Bad Moon Army, that's a three plus to hit, re-rolling ones. So, uh, yeah, take that Space Marines. <laughs> this thing is going to be devastating and deadly to tanks. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all that there is in the article on the community site today in regards to Bad Moons. Um, so good stuff there, definitely, don't get me wrong, but I am a little bit disappointed, not in what's revealed, it's all good. I'm just a little bit disappointed that there wasn't more to do with Bad Moons themselves. Um, it covers the Stomper, which a lot of people are going to be very interested about. Uh, the Morkonauts improving, and it talks about the Shock Jump Dragster, which is uh, sort of news and stuff we already knew about. Um, but it's all good stuff. But I would have liked, as with the Snake Bites and the Goth articles, to see maybe a stratagem or something. Um, just a little bit more detail about Bad Moon specifically. But uh, yeah, I am biased, of course. I'm going to be wanting uh, as much bad moon news as possible but it's good it's good we're going to be the the most shooty orc clan as it should be we're going to be 
re-rolling those ones in the shooting phase, that's gonna be really, really nice and give us some very reliable shooting. I really hope it does affect grots as well as orcs because I really want to be firing my cans and met guns with uh, re-roll ones on a four plus ballistic skill. That's gonna be uh, very scary for the opponent. But anyway, guys, uh, that's it for the article today. Tomorrow, uh, we will be looking at Evil Sons. So that's going to be good fun, especially with all these new vehicles and stuff out. I'm sure there's going to be a lot revealed in that. So stay tuned, guys. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Share your thoughts below. This is 6 Plus Devo, signing out.